Welcome to Arrow Hunter. Hey guys, it's John with Aero Hunter. I'm here at Aero Hunter at Grants Pass, Oregon with lead product designer Casey Jones. Hey Casey, how are you? Good. How Good, you? man. We're going to talk here a little about the um, product line of Aero Hunter and the evolution of the uh, hunting saddles. So Casey, what's, uh, what, was the, what was the one uh, one saddle that you designed, the, the first hunting saddle that we designed uh, at uh, Aero Hunter? The first hunting saddle that we designed was called, it was just called the Aero Hunter. Um, and it was a takeoff, uh, one of our lightest saddles that we made with no foam in it, and uh, so it was at low bulk and could pack up pretty small. And uh, we did it in camouflage, and we added a seat band to the bottom uh, for a little more sitting comfort. And that was our first model. Nice. And then um, you guys had some input from hunters after uh, the kind of wore and tested that one for a while and then you guys kind of got um, going into some discussions back and forth and then you designed another one which you have a model of here, right? After that I started working with uh, Bobby Boswell and uh, some other uh, hunters out in the field um, and we designed uh, what was known as the Evolution which was uh, the first one of our hunting saddles that had the sling seat. So it's, uh, it has a top belt and a swing seat, had leg pads, and uh, an adjustable bridge. So we're, we're moving right in that direction of what, uh, what people were asking. Right, and this, and this one had, uh, had uh, the bottom part of it basically the seat and the, and the leg, leg uh, support was all built into one, correct? Um, yeah, the, we... The seat had uh, leg pads and individual leg loops uh, for, for each leg rather than just the, the band that comes under your butt. But you can see right here that, that that's what the one we had that was an adjustment strap on it to uh, the main hub, which would adjust the, the pressure under you more or less. So you had a ton of, you had a ton of adjustment uh, built into the saddle. Um, yeah, yeah, it was a little bit hard for some to understand. We had Bobby do a user video because the, the thing was, was that if you loosen one or tighten one, you would have to adjust some other ones to, to match it. So, so they were compensating one another. Yeah. yeah. 
cool. And then um, you got a lot of feedback, a lot of positive feedback on that one, and then that kind of led into some more discussions about lighter weight and uh, um, a little bit more, um, well, still had the same adjustment, uh, uh, adjustability on the newer ones, but it was a little lighter weight and a little bit more stripped down, right? Yeah, we were getting, um, you know, uh, talking with Bobby, he wanted, you know, the, the path was to eventually get rid of the top belt and apply everything to the top of the seat. So for that, we had to change up the seat a little bit to, to accommodate that, but uh, with that, we, were, we would be using a back band so you get uh, the back support that this gave you at the time you got it. And that led into the Kestrel, correct? Yes. Uh, the, yeah, the next model that uh, we had Bobby come back to Oregon and we worked on uh, what is known as the Kestrel. And uh, for that, we, um, we took a lot of the, the same contour seat that was on the, uh, on the Evolution, but we lost the, the leg pads, and applied everything to the belt. The, the, one of the secrets to this was, to this sling seat was the contour, because uh, the first time I tried a, a different product that was just sewn flat with no contour, I could feel the hip pinch, and so when I went on to design a sling seat, I knew it couldn't just be a flat piece of fabric. It had to accommodate coming around your body, and so uh, just dialed it in with, uh, you know, most people who own a Kestrel will know that it, they can see that it's made out of four pieces, and that's part of the secret is uh, coming up with uh, the right kind of curvature that uh, Fix most bodies. Yeah, you can actually see the concave yeah. uh, aspect of the of the seat, and then um, you got into a little like a little bit more stripped down, a little bit more minimalistic um, leg leg straps and, and and belts, correct? Yeah, instead of having individual uh, load bearing leg loops, which had the pads under them and the Evo, we uh, the the strap that comes underneath your legs and butt is is the one that takes all the load. Uh, leg butt, the leg straps are for positioning on your body, to keep it on your body in the case of, a, of an accidental uh, fall or something, um, something unforeseen. Um, we always, you know, even though we went a little uh, different on the leg straps, we always uh, keep our rated buckles on the waist and legs. So. Yeah, and what are those, uh, what are these buckles? Uh, these are the uh, ADF Raptor yeah, buckles? Yeah, these are the ADF Raptor yep. buckles. Um, uh, most of them we've seen in, in tan. We're, have uh, worked in the sun that are black. Um, they're all fully rated um, to what we we use here at Arrow Hunter uh, meets our standard. Yeah. So Casey, yeah, all the all the buckles and leg straps are, are rated on these. I think the uh, the the waist buckle is rated to about four thousand pounds, as well as the the uh, leg buckles and their ADF Raptor buckles, right? Yes, the the buckles are rated, like you said, at about four thousand pounds. The, um, we always use rated uh, webbing on all of our saddles. We kind of pretty much the parachute webbing and tubular webbing are, are a lot of our standard. Um, they're one of the highest rated. And, uh, and then the, the bridge material we use on the webbing bridge is a nylon webbing, and that's about uh, 6,500 pounds, I believe. Nice. Um, and what were some of the other features here um, that you guys um, incorporated into the well, actually, it was it would be the next evolution where you kind of in, in, um, with the flex that you involve some of the input from hunters on that one as well, correct? Yeah, Bob, uh, Bobby and I worked on the flex uh, next, and um, so the flex takes a lot of what the Kestrel has. One of the reasons we kept it as the Kestrel flex um, because the Kestrel, um, a lot of people really like this, and so we wanted them to know that. This is uh, similar to a Kestrel, but with some uh, new features that add a lot of comfort. Uh, the, biggest, the biggest thing we changed was the seat. We made it into a uh, pleated panel seat, which not only gives you more seat under you or, or, um, or behind you, it, it also, by expanding in the center and staying at a peak of the side, it, it uh, alleviates hip pinch. So, uh, this is a real successful, comfortable saddle that uh, uh, a lot of people like it. Um, the other thing that we we did on this, which we we started to go back and do it on the Kestrel as well, 
is to put in the uh, tracer webbing that you can see under low light so you can get a, a more positive connection uh, to your, either your D-belt or your, um, your bridge loop. So the cool thing about this is the red webbing so you can have that visual uh, yeah. visual reference and then also the, um, the stitching on them is, uh, is reflected as well, correct? Yeah, the stitching inside is reflected uh, to, to low light. Um, we also you know, we coming from a, a safety industry, it's there's a lot of times when you can signify uh, life safety areas by making them a bright color, like orange or red. And so that's what we decided to, to do here: is to not only uh, let let the user know that these are important areas um, uh, for hooking up. This is where you hook up here, and here. And it's the the rated. Uh, the area to hook up to. Yes. So Casey, um, some of the other things that are available, uh, it's a real customizable saddle. You have um, different bridge and camo options. Can you tell us a little bit more about those? Yeah, we, um, we give uh, three different uh, choices of, uh, of camo options as well as um, three different choices of bridge and uh, uh, two different choices of uh, leg buttons. Right. Um, and the, uh, the bridge options are what? Uh, well, we have a, a rope bridge, and then we have uh, two webbing bridges. One of them is a fixed but adjustable bridge, and the other one is adjustable, but it has a carabiner at one end, so if you wanted to, to open it up and, and, and stuff out of it, you can for ease of putting it on. And another feature that you guys did on these is you moved the lining loops forward, correct? Yeah, we did. We moved them forward. We were uh, hearing feedback that uh, that's one of the things that uh, people wanted, so... Yeah, they're, they're more forward than uh, on both the Kestrel and the, uh, the Flex. Cool. And the camo patterns on these are the, uh, the ASAT, the Predator Fall Gray, and the Broadside. Yep, Broadside. Yeah. And then um, a little bit more about Arrow Hunter, the company. Um, it's based here in Grants Pass, Oregon, right? Yep. And then um, it's all American made. We're all uh, made here right at Grants Pass, right? Yep, we, we do everything from we cut our... Cordura patterns, we cut our foam uh, for, for things, we cut our, um, our mesh, we cut all of our weather parts here. It's all done, um, it's all done from raw goods. Nice. And um, you told me a story a while back about the inspiration for the, the flex panel and you kind of talked about where you uh, kind of got the ideas from that. Can you tell me a little bit kind of basically about your design inspiration for that? Yeah. Um, so uh, I, designed, I designed these with a lot of input from Bobby Boswell, and uh, Bobby sent me a message one time showing me a backpack that um, had a front panel that you would bring up over the front and clip it on, and it had a, pleat, a vertical pleat in it to accommodate going around the front of the pack depending on how much you had in, in the pack. Mm -hmm. So he asked me, uh, he showed me that and said, can you make a seat like that? And uh, because I had previous experience at making pleated uh, pockets for Coast Guard jackets. I, I was pretty sure I could do one. I just needed to make it uh, horizontal and, and dial it in to create the comfort that, that it creates. Yeah, I think everyone who sat in their 100 Flex saddle has talked about it being uh, the Cadillac tree, tree saddles and, and raves about the comfort reviews on this thing. Um, we've had a really good response to the saddle this year and uh, you know this, this is a design that really like hit it out of the ballpark and everyone's still talking about it you know well coming up on a year later right yes it's still popular we still we have tons of orders for it um, it's it's basically uh, the comfort that gets around and when people talk about what high level of comfort it has that's that's it, it kind of sells itself 